that Cincinnati, Ohio is officially granted the newest expansion club in Major League Soccer. I couldn't think of a better way to start this video than my showing you that clip of where we're getting ready to head to. Guys, welcome to another FC Cincinnati video. This is your boy Jay, and I hope you're all having a great, great day or evening whenever you're watching this. Just want to give a small little reflection on this season from my perspective and then kind of where we're going as a club. And just to say thank you to all of you who watched these videos for the last three years, these, it's been incredible. So start off with the reflection of the season. What a magical ride that we've had from start where we were getting all of these players in to the regular season where it just continued to progressively get better and better and better to honestly having the breakout season that we had in USL of having 77 points an unbeaten, um, unbeaten streak. I think of 24 matches, a 10 win, uh, 10 win streak. It, 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 was, it was fantastic. And then we got to see a couple of our, a couple of our guys, Emmanuel Ledesma, Forrest Lasso, make first team All USL. Corbin Bone make second team USL. And that is a tribute to the work that the coaching staff has put together, was put together. Alan Cox's tactics, strategies talents of the players from our defenders, our goalkeepers, to the midfield, to our to our forwards. It, it was a great, great season. And yes, did we fall up, did we fall short of the goal because we wanted to win the cup? Absolutely. And we can't I can't take it away from that. I mean we didn't we didn't come to play that that game against New York Red Bulls, but we did a lot of great things. We we won the USL regular season championship which a championship in Cincinnati is, is fantastic to see. And I know people have gone back and forth in terms of championships in the Queen City, but in terms of this, this particular club here and this three year tenure thus far, it was a fantastic achievement. And it's been wonderful to watch, uh, to see how we progressed so far in a very short span of time. And I also have to give a big, big shout out to a lot of the Support the supporter groups from DI to the Pride to the Bailey Bastards to the Den who work with the families Auxilio Auxilio One in New York, Hangar Nine Three Seven in Dayton, and there's probably many more that I haven't even recognized and that are probably out there. But the, the support that we have for this club is unparalleled from anything that I've seen, at least in recent memory. And I know that there are plenty of other clubs that have a lot of support. But something that we've gone through and I've been able to experience as a fan myself, it's been wonderful to watch. And I can't put into words how great this city has been towards this club. For me, I'm very, very happy for what we've accomplished. And we have so much more work to do and I know we're gonna get there and we're gonna make it much better. So where do we go from here? Well, on Monday we have the MLS unbranding event in terms of the crest that will be displayed in MLS, which is going to be a very good time. I'm sure that Alan Koch is going to be there. Obviously, Jeff Bird and Carl Lennon is going to be there as well. We also have a groundbreaking event for FC Cincinnati's new stadium. I know that's coming very coming up very soon in December. I believe they've already started uh, deconstruction of Star Joe Stadium down on the west end where the stadium will be built so that's going to be coming I don't know if I'm going to be able to go to that but if I can great if not we'll just still make a video on that later on and then we also have the start of FC Cincinnati building their roster for for 2019 for MLS with the expansion draft that starts on December 11th there are many things that lead up to that in terms of which teams can we actually uh, draft players from we have a total of five that we can we can draft from uh, that we can that we can draft and there are five teams that are exempt from this so we have to be sure that we are obviously picking players that are going to fit the system that Alan Koch wants to bring into MLS 
and he has the experience to see what works and what doesn't. So we have to see what happens. But I'm excited to see what several players we bring in. And speaking along those lines, we've already confirmed uh, three of those players from this year's USL club will be coming back, which are, in terms of news, news uh, related, Corbin Bone, who had an amazing season, as I said before. Forrest Lasso, who had a great season in the back, defending defend the back line. And we also had Jimmy McLaughlin, who is a very good, who has a lot of potential, very speedy, spark off the bench, and great ambassador for this club. And everyone loves him. So outside of those three, obviously we have Fernando Adi that will be coming back as our designated player. Uh, for Ty Lasha, I believe will be coming back, and also Emmanuel Ledesma, who is, I believe signed a three-year extension uh, earlier this season before the season ended. So a lot of good things to come. We they still haven't figured out the rest of the players that we are keep that we are keeping or that are leaving, uh, at least in the public sector. So I'm sure there are plenty of talks that have happened in the background, but we are still gearing up for a great great first inaugural season in MLS and I'm very thrilled to just watch it happen in front of us and so we gotta I just gotta say thank you to this club for honestly lighting the fire in this even more so in the city because this is a great town for sports the fans are loyal uh, even through the tough times and they really come out of support so what does that mean for us in terms of you and I in terms of making these vlogs, making these videos. I'm still gonna do them. And I'm very happy I can do them. Now, will my coverage during games be different? Most likely. Uh, with moving to MLS, you might not see as much on-field uh, activity. Um, just because, obviously, they, the, the rights are much are theirs, so I can't necessarily film by everything I used to. But we'll find a way to make it work. Um, there are plenty of influences that I can use in terms of being able to still provide good content. Um, we will try to cover this team more in depth. I'm going to have to do a lot of research on the offseason to make sure I'm ready because there are a lot of things about different players that I don't know about and the way MLS works. So I got to make sure I'm geared up and ready to go. But also, I'm going to try to even put out more videos than I have in recent memory. I mean, we have. 44 from this season, 25 from last season, but it doesn't really cover the news that we really have. And I want to be able to do that as well. So probably doing a lot more of that and make sure that we are all on the same page and make sure that you all get as good content to see. I mean, I'm excited. I'm very happy. I've been blessed that you all, even with the limited amount of people that have watched my videos, it's been, a, it's been fan, it's been fun. It's been really, really fun. The fact that I can see a lot of people that come up to me and say, "Yo, Jay, I mean, you seen you've seen your videos. I've never had that happen, and every time it does happen, I, I feel just it means a lot. It really, it really just means a lot. I, I've never thought that something like this would translate to something that people would want to watch, and if it is something that people want to watch, I will continue to make this. I mean, it's it's fun. It's not a job." It makes it easy for me, and I'm very grateful that you guys watch my videos, and I'm grateful that I'm able to show our perspective on our club for many, many videos here to come. So, I mean, it's been a true honor, and I'm very blessed, and we have a lot more FC Cincinnati to go. This is just the beginning, as I said before, and I'm really excited. So, thank you guys for just tuning in to watch. If you want to subscribe, please subscribe. If you want to share this with your friends, go ahead and do so. There's no obligation to do it. I'm just glad you had a chance to sit down and talk with me and watch my videos. So in the meantime, we're getting, I'm getting close to uh, food time for me. So I'm gonna get out of here and get some food in my system. It's me and boy Jay. I'll see you all soon. Thank you for so much for watching. Peace.